One of the definitions of nihilistic is the rejection of all the current belief systems and all the current ways of doing things. And so we're throwing everything else out and starting from scratch. Well, the main thing we wanted to do was make a very small team where every person on the team is an integral part of the process. The culture of nihilistic is like a big clubhouse, really. <laughs> There's no line between work and play. Everybody pretty much does their work, and then the game just gets better and better every week. Vampire the Masquerade is a role-play game where you actually play a vampire in both 12th century Prague and the modern-day New York and London. The mighty walls of Prague once held all demons at bay. Your volume of models and art can be very challenging for an art team and Maya keeps the process moving smoothly so we can crank out a lot of uh, material in a short amount of time. We have Kristoff here. We want to give that sense of mysteriousness that comes with the cape and also Kristoff. Creating 120 models within a 14 month span, so we wanted a really good character animation package that could allow us the freedom to animate easily and not get caught up in making the tool work. For the main character Kristoff, we wanted to have a nice soft look to the cloth and hair, be able to move it convincingly. With Maya, we could weigh the vertices easily. We could create a skeletal structure inside the models and animate it. We're doing facial animation to move the skin a lot more, like skin would move. So with Maya, we can show emotion. The nice thing about Maya is that we can get animations done quickly. The feedback is really nice, and that's really what you're looking for as an artist, to be able to create what you want to create. Making a game is really a balance between technology and art. Maya is important because for the programmers, it's a very clean, simple interface to actually get the art out. And for the artists, it's a very simple, easy to use tool that gets the art finished. When we started developing our new engine, we actually used the Maya API to go from concept in Maya to actual running model on the PC. The Maya API gives us exactly the data we want, when we want it. The gaming industry moves really fast these days, and so we're always pushing the envelope in terms of complexity of the characters and complexity of the environments. With Maya, no matter what happens in the industry, you're pretty much prepared for it.